so. I think Cruel Imposter has made it out of pools. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Which is a very, very big surprise, to be honest. Alright, Vance versus RV coming out with the Falco here. Which is RV so, typically. Wow, 52 already. Starts off really already. quick. Uh, so my set with Vance was actually really, really close. Um, considering, I think he had like a last hit situation and I just broke his shield and he just died. Um, because, you know, I, I can actually punish shield breaks. But, um, there we go. So, I think something that's always really annoying about having to fight Falco is just his, trying to deal with his multi hits. So I feel like they're kind of just out there for a while and then you just like. Oh, it's, it's over now. And then it hits you, the last hit hits you, and you're just like, well, that clearly wasn't over then. But, um, obviously, it also has its fair share of multi hits as well. Um, and at the moment, Roast Beef has kind of been pushing Benz into the corner on the off stage. Um, I think he's kind of been in control so far. Uh, does the ledge drop Nair. Gets the forwarder to take Vance's first stock. Um, I think the issue here is going to be if Vance can get some kill confirmed, like uh, up to the back air at an earlier event. Try and minimize the amount of extra credit that RB pull off here. And he goes for it, and unfortunately isn't very successful with it. Oh, he goes for it again. He got it this time, just wasn't close enough to the edge as he probably would have liked to be. But <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely tell. came close. Yeah, but I think it was just like yeah. a little bit too far. Like definitely if it was like a under like the platform of PS2, I think that would have killed him. But Vans is definitely kinda of having a bit of trouble closing out here. Um doing this for Bow Bow, obviously so tell from his tag. And it goes for the side. But just hasn't been able to get the, the one hit he needs. And there goes the down tilt. The Bands is bringing this back. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Extra troop. Yeah, we're out. All right. I think I gotta go. Uh, yeah, I I might get called up soon, too. Called it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hopefully these guys have a good time with this set. Looks like it's a close one. So.
you got Bands versus Roast Beef. I'm certain that this is no longer pools. I also don't think this is game one, but I don't remember who won the first one, so we'll go with it. Hit versus Falco. I feel like Falco, or Pit does have some like grounded stars, he doesn't need to jump so much. He definitely has the disjoints to be able to contest against up tilt that Falco would love. And also plenty of edge guarding tools, but Definitely two of the most combo heavy characters. side beat nearly getting the early spike but I feel like at this slow percent it won't really do too much we're to see how with like the arrow diffracts going through a shield I don't know why I've never noticed that until just now Ooh, hard to up smash I up the stocks those combos starting again Pickers also have extremely fast out of shield options. Well, actually, I don't remember how fast it is. It could be frame forward, I don't. AJP takes in the background. But, so far. That was weird. I was not expecting that to cross up, but I guess the down tail low profile also to switch sides. Also, the cheeky effect. Not hitting anything. I am not to be too. Yes. I hear it looking like 12 men, right? Like, that means he, uh, not enough to take it. Love smash doesn't take it either. Ooh, last hit. I remember the landing hitbox. Loves it. Really just last hit, but Ben's doing a great job just keeping the center stage. Ooh. Yeah. Down tilt take it. I wouldn't expect to switch players. But. I feel like it's kind of a weird situation when it comes to banning stages because again, both characters do want some platforms to get exceptions. So I feel like if you try to take a stage you like, you're also giving a stage that they like as well. I'm not too sure. It's, at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to come. Maybe a little bit of a strange choice going back to town city after having some issues with the left, but I guess it's Northern Cave or about yeah, Northern Game is probably been well, so
inch right over. You don't need these characters that that, that short. Let's just get in the back to hold for advanced landing aerials. Just that drift back. It seems so like it seems like it should be such an easy punish, but Falcon can just drift back so much that it's hard. Especially with that landing hitbox. I think I was really at least trying to cross up. But. We have been having more, a lot more success going up B rather than side B. It's kind of strange to leave the side B some more scary ones on the edge guard. Failure can result in spike early stock. I feel like pit facing backwards doesn't have too many options against face out aerials. Also, just go to the other side. <laughs> going to the time to I think that is coming too much. I think a little too low for the edge guard. Pay back so much. So feels weird how much, like. I guess it's just a big attack in general, but considering Falco's regular air drift, he wouldn't fucking have that much control over where his fair lands, but it, it's a very big move, so he, he gets away with it regardless. I like the people like, but instead of having crazy air drift, just being a big move. Seems like it's a great option to cover that side B, but that happened today. Really got this nice. That back arrow box. Oh. So again, with these characters, both have the combo game. Crazy see. Certainly looking for a tilts and just crawl up smashes coming out a lot more. Back airs now. Up here. Not be enough. A hundred. That down tilt. Yeah. I actually know. That's it. <laughs> Actually, now we're seeing.